Let's bring in ABC News national security and defense analyst Mick Mulroy, along with ABC News contributor and former senior CIA field operative Daryl Blocker for more. Mick, fighting near the nuclear plant has fueled fears of a Chernobyl-style disaster, and we've been hearing about this for a little while now. So how risky is the situation around the nuclear plant right now? So, Diane, it's very risky. Just as the uh, UN team leader said, it's, he is gravely concerned about uh, an accident or a direct uh, uh, explosion that could cause power to be cut off to the plant, which would then uh, end the ability to cool down the nuclear reactor and potentially cause a meltdown and radiation. So this is very significant. It looks like the Ukrainians are considering a full shutdown, which would be done orderly and safely. And then they could, as the UN uh, requested, put a safety and security zone around this uh, a nuclear facility. Now, Daryl, according to a newly declassified American intelligence report, global sanctions are forcing Russia to turn to North Korea now to secure ammunition and other vital supplies for its military. How concerning is that? And on the other hand, does that mean that Russia's running out of steam or can it still play the long game? I think Russia cannot play the long game because they're actually playing against the entire world. And it is not really concerning. The North Korean re, you know, replenishment of Russia just proves that Russia was unprepared. They're having to rely on the Iranians for drones. And who are they going to go to next? At some point, they are going to run out of friends. They're going to run out of munitions. And they're going to run out of options. But uh, now, Daryl, with Ukraine's renewed counteroffensive now, are we seeing a shift in how this battle is being waged? I do think we're seeing a shift, Diane. The Ukrainian forces are gaining um, momentum. Their morale is high. Their Russian counterparts have been, from the very beginning, reluctant at best and unprepared, certainly. Uh, Mick, Ukraine also seems to be improving its long-range capabilities with better precision. How much is that impacting how the fighting is evolving? And how much is thanks to U.S. aid and aid from other allies? Well, it's playing a key factor right now around Kherson. Their, their uh, plan seems to be to gain the territory around the city of Kherson, and there's also a hydroelectric plant around it that they would really like to get back. And they're using these precision fires, as you described, uh, to take out the logistic and supply line of the Russians, which that eventually gets to a point where they can't sustain themselves and have to uh, withdraw. That's what they hope to do. Uh, it's ambitious, but they hope by the end of the year, from my understanding, to gain all the territory back to the Dnipro River, which would also give them the ability to cut off uh, water uh, down to C Crimean Peninsula, which they would really like to do and cause even more grief for the Russians down there. As Daryl says, uh, the Ukrainians have the momentum and the morale, and, and this is uh, exactly where they want to be. And Daryl, President Zelensky himself just had an exclusive interview with our David Muir, and in it he said he has no interest in negotiating with Russia if that involves ceding any Ukrainian territory whatsoever. So if that is off the table, how do you see an end to this war? I honestly don't believe it is off the table. I think President Zelensky should ask for everything, should ask for more than even what they had considered from the very beginning. And that forces Russia to address the invasion in 2014 and quite frankly address how they're going to get themselves out of the corner they painted themselves in. All right, Mick, Daryl, we appreciate the analysis as always. Thank you both. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.